Hello, East High School. So here is your agenda for today. Um, you'll find it under the modules, uh, as always, and also under today's date, the 25th of September. So when you go to that agenda, um, all your links are here. They're also under your modules, but I, I put them here for, for you to be easier. First thing you're going to do is watch this uh, video on taxonomy. It's about 14, 13 minutes long. You do have some questions that you need to answer with that. Uh, so when you click on this link, it will pull up a Microsoft Word document, um, and you can type your answers straight into here. And then you will just hit File, Save a Copy, okay, and then Save it into your OneDrive. Um, and then you'll upload that to me directly uh, on the Canvas page. After you watch that, or excuse me, before you finish that, let me remind you that on these videos, um, you can change the speed. I know this guy speaks really quickly. So if you go to settings and playback speed, you can slow it down. Um, and I would recommend doing that. You might have to watch it a few times. Uh, you can also add some subtitles. Um, I would recommend doing that as well, even if it's English. Uh, so you can see the different languages you can choose from, um, and I would recommend changing the subtitles um, into your primary language if you speak more than one language. After you uh, watch that video and submit that Word document, you also have this week's Utah Wildlife feature, which is one of my favorites, a porcupine. So if you open up that, it will take you to the porcupine assignment. Um, a short little video clip for you to watch um, to show you how cute they are. Look at that face. Um, and then in your digital notebook, just like you did with the garter snake, you need to answer these 10 questions about uh, porcupines. Um, not all the answers are in this video. You are going to have to use the internet to search some of this information. Um, and I've already included a porcupine page for you in, under your Utah wildlife section in your OneNote notebook. Okay, so that will be the next thing that you work on. Um, after your Utah wildlife focus on porcupine, the last thing, and this is kind of your exit ticket, is um, I want you to maybe help me a little bit. And you guys have all been um, complete, you've all completed your first two weeks of online school. And I want to know from you guys, what's been working well for you? Meaning, what are some ways that some of your teachers have structured and organized their classes, their Canvas pages, that it's been really helpful to you um, or that you've enjoyed. So if you can include that information for me with the teacher's name so that if it's something I want to do, I can talk to them about it. Um, and the second one is what are some learning activities that you have done in your classes that have been helpful to you or that you have also enjoyed? And same thing, include the information um, as far as what teacher did that. And you'll submit that as a text entry to me. Okay, um, And then... If you have more time after that, just a couple of things. You have some independent work time. You can catch up on your notes. You can catch up on your creature features. Uh, we had the one on uh, jumping spiders yesterday. And then just as a reminder for you guys, look in the course calendar for reminders of when assignments are due. Uh, so if you're on your home page for zoology, and I'll switch to student view so it looks the same. If you go over here onto the right-hand side where it says View Course Calendar and click onto that, this is a quick and simple way to see what assignments are coming up and what has already passed. So the ones with the lines through it are ones that the uh, due date has already come and gone. Um, and then the ones that are still active here are ones that are either coming up or that you can still work on. Um, so this is a good way um, to help you stay organized about uh, when, when certain assignments are due. Okay, um, that's it. As always, you can talk to me on uh, email. You can also talk to me on the Remind app, um, or uh, you can talk to me in class. However it works for you, I'm happy to help you out. Bye.